woman over 27, it's time to sell. If you're a woman over 30, it's time to mark that shit on 50% off. Or if you're over 35, it's time to put that shit on clearance. If you have 40, it's time to put that shit at the outlet. If you have 50, Salvation Army. <laughs> Molly, so don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. Molly, so don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. I've never harbored animosity towards him over me. It was wow. the treatment of my mother that I could not take. If the man likes a certain woman and that woman has a child, he has to realize that it is a package deal. He if doesn't he, have to do that. If he decides that he wants to pursue her no. and oh, he... No, no, because I'm going to ask you a question. Why do women feel like because they aren't married, that the children belong to them. What do you mean? Meaning that and, and if the world was in the right method, you wouldn't be a package deal. Because if you weren't with the father, you'd leave and he'd have his kids. So that's the way it used to be. Well, that's the way it used to be. Yeah. If a woman decided to, she wanted to divorce or leave and not be around, she could carry her natural butt on him. She went, but the kids stayed with the father. Those were hymns. But see, today, you ladies act as though the children you have are yours and, the, and though that you should be, be able to visit them on another man and make that non-biological, non-DNA-tied man to tie them to another man's children. See, the way it's supposed to work is if you want to leave your family, you show up on another man's life, however it works, empty-handed. Then there are no package deals. Ever since the FDR administration in the 1930s and the 1940s enacted the socialist liberal New Deal policies, Esau targeted the black family to be dismantled and the liberal foolish black woman was there to lick off the gravy of that poison laced butter biscuit. Well, I will say first that if a female decides to leave her boyfriend, husband, whatever, that there is poss there's most likely a reason. No, and no, 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 well, no, I, no, 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 you should be able to leave, but you should not leave with the kids. See, prior to the prior to the 1940s marriage laws, women could go ahead and leave, but they left with exactly what they came with, and that's the way it should be. Wow. Yes. Why? Because one, because men earn more than you do. Men statistically are men statistically are, been, are better parents for the children if you have to choose a male or a female. See, the facts are in. The data is really clear. No. It always has been. It, okay, if you have a... <clears throat> how many women with multiple children, what, what's the percentage of a woman has more than two children? What's the percentage chance that the, the second child is by another man? That percentage is likely at 60% amongst black women because the U.S. government pays her to open her legs for a Section 8 food stamps, income tax checks, child support. Again, this crafty council started after the Great Depression. That's when W-2s were created and they started taxing everything. Later, they introduced civil rights so they can totalitarian tiptoe towards feminism, okay? FDR and Ronald Reagan have perfect attendance in hell. A uh, high, probably a probable, a high percent. Between zero to 100, what would you give it? About a 90 percent. So it's about 70. So that's the point that women who are not married and have more than two, have more than one child likely go out and get another man. See, you don't make good mating decisions. Whereas 54 percent of black men are single and childless. We make better decisions. When men are in relationships, men file divorce at a roughly 10 to 20 percent rate when the divorce happens. Women file a divorce at about a, a 90 to a, a 80 to 90 percent rate. Like it or not, men, facts are stubborn things. 
don't believe me, go do the research yourself. So when a home is wrecked because of a divorce, it's a woman who's wrecking her home. I don't agree with that. I don't care if you agree, the facts are clear. What's a good reason to leave? Um, the husband is the husband or the boyfriend is not. No, we're talking marriage. Okay, and that okay. he's not doing what he should be doing, or meaning what? Knowing her, he is not. It's unequal. Meaning, what one, is a good reason to walk to dip, to dissolve your covenant with God and your vow? All right, one case, abuse. That would be a reason to leave. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we how do we how do we verify this abuse happened? I mean, there's some females who are quiet. They don't involve the police. So well, then, that's, then, then if that's the case, we can't verify it happened. So but that means... A good reason. No, ma'am. See, that's over here. Mm -hmm. We don't just let you ladies talk. I'm asking, what are some good reasons to dissolve your marital vow, dissolve your covenant with God? Wait, pause. That's the whole point for marriage. The covenant with God. Kevin Samuels once admitted how his marriage fell apart in Potter's house. Okay, Mr. So-called high-value man T.D. Jakes engineered the woman thou art loosed experiment. Stephen A. Smith, whom I'll get to later. Okay, these are your so-called high-value men. Steve Harvey, who wrote the book Act Like a Woman, Think Like a Man. Okay, these are effeminate men with money, okay, which makes them of Satan. I know from personal experience that when you give your life to the Lord as a man of God, a real high value man, you will have to sacrifice time serving him. Therefore, you're giving up your time that you otherwise would have used to make more money. I truly believe that Kevin Samuels missed his calling because of this. And you need to have better than just something happened. I'm just asking you to, to substantiate. You can have your opinion. Stand on it and prove it. You say right. abuse. And I'm asking, what proof do we have? And you say, well, some places we don't. Then the places you don't have proof aren't a good reason. I mean, I can't... So I can't give a reason why someone would leave. I know that. Well, but you just said, but man, but then. You I mean, yes, abuse. Man, you just kind of burnt out, man. The reason we're no, man, no, 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 okay. Due respect, the reason we're even here is you said if a woman leaves, mm -hmm. it's usually for a toy, a good reason. Yeah. And you just contradicted yourself. I can speak. I can't that. give a good reason why they leave, but they do. So what? I mean, I did say abuse, but you're saying what if it. Is it verifiable? Some women do not. Yeah, if, it's, if it really happened, if it really happened, to, so that if means it really <laughs> happened. If it, listen, ma'am, pay attention. If it really happened to the level or to the seriousness that you, you we're talking about, then mm -hmm. there should be a police report, a history. Or there needs to be some. There needs to be some. You, you, or, we, or do we just believe what a woman says? No, nor would you believe what a man says. Right. You need some what. Proof. I mean, family. thank you. And how do and how do we get and how do we get that proof? I mean, family can be a proof. No they man, have, no man, unless the family. family excuse me, man, unless the family witnessed it. That's what I'm saying. They could have. Okay, man, but 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 okay, but that's not how life happens. That means somebody has to physically be there when the alleged abuse happens. You're talking about more likely that they came after and some story was told because they don't live there. All right, can we define abuse? Can it be... You said uh, abuse, man. Can it be more than physical? It can also be mentally, right? Mental abuse. A person we can... We still be need proof. Mentally abused. We need proof. How can you... Okay, well, okay, okay, see, and that's the case. And this is why I, this is why I love these discussions. You, I believe we should have to have more than just a woman's allegation, a man's allegation, to wreck a family, break up a family, separate a household and do all this stuff because it has such consequences. There should be things called no fault divorce should go away. I'm not saying you should not be able to get a divorce. You just need to be able to prove okay. what's going on. Because I'm asking you and you can't even, you can, you're like, well, damn. He's right. And you don't want to say that I'm right because you know I'm right. 
I mean, mental abuse you can't prove. But, I mean, you can't. You can't prove mental abuse. But, I mean... Just like, you mean the stuff that happens to men at, at a very high rate, but they can't prove it? Right. Esau, the so-called white man, has gone out of his way to wage war against the so-called black man through propaganda, okay, through the prison industrial complex, and even using Christianity through uh, the seminary schools to I'm conceal the history of our people's covenant with the Most High, and the Most High's promise to destroy the nations for their crafty counsel against us. Sure, they get, they right, get so man, okay, no, you can't prove it. You can't prove it one way, you can't prove it the other way. So thank you. See, no, man, you can't prove it one way, you can't prove it the other way. So right. abuse, all I'm saying is, you want to say abuse, fine. Where's, where's the police reports? Where's, where's the documentation? Well, aside from there, there will, I mean, the person doesn't feel like they're being treated the way they want to be treated. I mean, there's a many reasons so, why somebody will... Not, okay, because somebody's feelings change. Mm -hmm. So that's a reason to... Where is that written into the vows that we take? It's not. And I personally... Man, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Do words mean things? Word, exactly, yes. For better, for worse, richer, for oh. poor, in sickness and health, to death do us part. It doesn't say... You, your feelings change. Something happens. See, you, you can't substantiate why most women are leaving. And, and here's the thing. Let's just play it this way. If you, how about this? How about I meet you halfway? If a woman in this case cannot prove, she leaves the kids. But the kids are her meal ticket because Esau pays. The scriptures mention that those who cause the little ones to stumble... It would be better if a millstone were tied around their neck and drowned in the sea. Okay, this is one of the many reasons why God said he hates Esau. And the penalty for Esau's violence against Judah will be desolation. Okay, destruction, captivity. As a woman who calls herself a unicorn, you still are signing for women over men. Because I'm a mother, and I know you I have sons. Agree that you have any sons? I do. I have two sons and two. Okay, sons. so if your sons were in the position I'm talking about, you'd want the you want you want the child to go with their baby mama, because what? No, I would not want that. Oh, okay. But so, so damn no 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 no. But if you've got sons, why don't you ladies advocate for your sons like you advocate for the women? That's a good question. I mean, I would, depending on... No, you're it. not. No, you're it's not. Four Come on, you, man, you've got four kids, and you're talking like you've got four daughters. No. The, the very thing I'm talking about represents two of your children. Okay, I will say that if, God forbid, that ever it was to be a reality, I would, if based How old are your sons? They're, they're young. There's um, five and three. Uh, what, what is the percentage chance that... Your 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 sons will marry a, a woman, a black woman. Hopefully a high percentage, but what's well, the marriage rate in the black community right now? I don't know. What do you I, think I, it I, is? What do you think it is? I know it's low. What do you think it is? 30, 40, 40 percent. And is it going up or is it going down? It's going down. You can see. So if it's going down. By the time your boys are marrying age and the baby boomers and Generation X are, are, are out of the equation, what are the chances? So it's likely low that they'll get married anyway. And then how long does the typical black marriage last? How many years? I mean, if I had to guess, uh -huh. between maybe I'm given too many years, maybe five to ten years. Five. And when a divorce is filed in one of these black marriages, what percentage of the time is a man filing the divorce? 30% of the time, 20, 40% of the time? 20. Wow. 10 to 20. So if you have a, a marital rate around 30%, mm -hmm. and of those, so that means 7 out of 10 won't get married, 
you had a 30% murder rate. Your two sons are in this group. And if they do get fortunate enough to get married, they got a chance of having a one, two, three, four, five year marriage. And if they start looking down the barrel of a divorce, not eight to nine times out of 10, it's not your son that will be filing. Uh, what does that show? What does that show the problem is on the boy side or the girl side? The females. And if that's the case, why should the children go with the females of that situation? No, ma'am. You make it, don't, don't, be, be honest. Your I, sons, are, if I, that's the case, don't give me the accidental, well, it could. In the norm, in the norm, in the average, should the children be going with the women who are leaving their families or should they be going with the men who are staying? If the children are able to choose who they want to No, 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 no. I mean, this is what, and this is what I need you guys to understand. Even your black men, even your mothers are against you. Okay, Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He's going soon to the lake of fire. Okay, as a blood-bought, born-again believer, a student, and disciple of Jesus Christ, it is paramount that we discern the visible and invisible forces that war for our souls. Okay, the serpent is so cunning. He's a skilled supernatural assassin, and he loves using the weaker vessels. Whom are the weaker vessels, according to the scriptures? Well, the woman is the weaker vessel, according to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. And Esau... The so-called white man is also a weaker vessel, according to Genesis chapter 25, verse 27. Again, as I stated in recent videos, Esau had a 4,000-year faith deficit because he sold his birthright for a morsel of food. His father, Isaac, gave him a blessing, saying Esau would live by the sword and the fatness of the land. Okay, so to this day, he resorts to crafty counsel by sponsoring, inventing evil things to accumulate more blood on his hands for the sake of self-preservation, not understanding that faith in God's word would reveal if you live by the sword, you shall die by the sword. It is Esau and his descendants who... Uh, somewhat through the Catholic Church, invented once saved, always saved. They're the ones who invented the pre-tribulation secret rapture, the uh, purgatory. They invented all these evil doctrines to deceive himself into believing his multitude of evil deeds would be easily dismissed by the Most High God without producing any type of works worthy of repentance without in making any type of reparations okay once saved always saved this is why mainly why it's a false doctrine it relies heavily on the so-called believer in christ not ever sinning again and removing works completely from repentance that's dangerous because who's going to say that they do not continue sinning even after they accept Christ as their Lord and Savior? Hypocrisy of your father. I mean, not only was he living off your mother, making your life horrible, the shocking revelation that he had a whole second family going somewhere. Yeah. Guys like Howard Stern, Don Imus, uh, the late Rush Limbaugh, these Edomites they have fallen angel blood. Okay, they have more fallen angel blood in their DNA. That's why they are so wicked. Okay, and this is why the blood of Jesus is important because once a man denies himself and accepts the sacrifice that Christ did on the cross for our sins, okay, Christ steps in and atones for that sin and redeems that man's blood with Christ's blood. Okay, blood is spiritual. So he becomes a new creation. 
You see what I'm saying? But if you don't repent, now the sins of your forefathers is, is what remains in your bloodline. You see what I'm saying? And what is that for Esau? Okay, we got to look at the history of Esau. Esau married the Horonites and the Canaanites. Okay, he married their women who were descendants of those who dwelt in Mount Sierra with fallen angel blood. So why would a loving God say he hate Esau? Okay, it is, the, it is fact that the Gentiles have ruled over the earth the longest. God gave them this grace period to fulfill the blessing given to Esau by Isaac. Okay, Jacob's blessing, although our people went into captivity, Jacob's blessing was the law the prophets, and the apostles. Okay, we are the priesthood. Okay, God's chosen people who, who, who paved the, the, the framework, who paid the price to bring the covenant unto the Gentiles. You see what I'm saying? What does this have to do with Howard Stern, and Stephen A. Smith, and Kevin Samuels? Well, I'll, I'll get to that a little bit later. But first, Stephen A. Smith could never get on national TV and talk like how Kevin Samuels talked. Okay, not even on his own podcast. But he, he, he faces no backlash when degrading his father because it feeds that beast called feminism. But notice <laughs> that same feminist spirit that works in Molly Karam that made Stephen A gets so upset with her is probably the same evil spirit that was driving a wedge between his mother and his father. And men like Howard Stern get paid to monitor and give commentary on the affairs of the so-called black man. And Stephen A. Smith is foolish enough to play into that game. Look, Howard Stern is a suspected white supremacist. The whole point of this interview is for Esau to further network crafty counsel by sponsoring the feminist agenda at the expense of the black man. You see what I'm saying? Esau is well aware of the many gifts our people are blessed with, which is why a part of his crafty counsel is to pay Negroes like Stephen A. Smith to sell out. This guy gets paid $12 million per year to talk about sports. It's laughable. They use the NBA to dismantle the black community, knowing that these ball players do not know the most high. And often they, they wife up concubines. Okay, they can't take a stance for y'all because they want to continue getting that check. So the league is like their babysitter. <laughs> the nerve of Howard Stern to talk about a black man's second family when, dude, you don't even take a stand against homosexuality. Hypocrite. When you started to get successful yeah, and, and, and really make some serious dough, yeah. did suddenly he try to change the history between the two of you? You're damn right he did. He most certainly did. A matter of fact, it happened. One of the days happened in the dining room of my mother's house. I would tell you this is about 10 years ago, about 10 years ago. So he's complaining because Christmas comes by, you know, Christmas comes and goes. And my mother, I've sent her on a cruise to Europe. My father, I bought him the club. Remember that club that you put on your steering wheel for the car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I brought so him your the club. car doesn't get stolen. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. I bought him the club, right? right. You can clearly hear the foolish, ignorant liberal Caucasian woman laughing at the fragmentation of the black family. In the book of Obadiah chapter 1 verse 13 states that it's referring to these Caucasians, Esau, you should not have entered the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Indeed, you should not have gazed on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Scripture saying the, the way that she's laughing, 
laughing at the, the, the fragmentation of the black family. He said, the Most High is going to judge this. They make business, but they can't stop talking about our people because our people are, are even the ones who've gone astray, are a special people. They're gifted. Okay, they need the black man. They need his energy. They're like vampires, just feeding off the energy of the so-called black man. Unless they have nothing to talk about. Okay, when you hear them talking about LeBron James, the, the, although he's gone astray, he he he's a part of the kingdom of Satan. Still, that in his DNA. Is Moses and and all these great men of God, Apostle Paul, the, the, uh, all of these prophets, Ezekiel, these great mighty men like Samson is in our DNA. Okay, and the so-called white man envies that. Okay, they they're laughing at the fragmentation of the black family, which is engineered by Esau, whom again the scriptures say God hates Esau. Okay, this is why the scriptures state that your children shall be dashed to pieces. Okay, if the thief is found, he must restore sevenfold. Okay, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Read your Bible. Because our forefathers, again, were the priesthood, which was Jacob's blessing. We introduced the covenant of Christ, that the a heathen, like Howard Stern, as wicked as he is, might be saved if he repents. Okay, and he'll become born again. The old man will be put to death. Well, they produce this new age Christianity, which makes it so easy to repent. And that's not what Christ said. I'll give you an example. For Howard Stern to repent, to truly repent and be saved, he would have to give up all of his wealth to the poor. Not only that, he would have to renounce publicly all of the satanic philosophy over the last 30 plus years that he publicly supported and continue in the faith, living a Christ-like life. Okay, he would have to face all of the backlash without looking back. This is what Christ meant when he said, no man is fit for the kingdom of God having looking back. Okay, no one builds a tower without counting the cost. Okay, literally and figuratively. Okay, if he said, what? If you deny me before men, I'll deny you before my father. Remember, the priesthood of Moses and Aaron, the prophets Ezekiel and Obadiah. Again, you have the, the apostles Paul and John. Okay, these men grafted in you Gentiles. <laughs> okay, it was God who gave you the earth to rule for a time until the day of the Lord. We're not all one. Genesis chapter 25 says one nation will be stronger than the other. So to complete the body of Christ, you do your part, and I'll continue to do mine to each prove we belong in the body of Christ. But your repentance don't look like mine, because your sin requires a greater penalty, therefore, or greater works worthy of repentance. God, in his infinite wisdom, he knew that Esau was going to have a faith deficit. Because he sold his birthright for a morsel of food. So by God's grace, he was given wealth and power to use for the kingdom of Christ. Christ said, owe no man nothing but the love of God. So you owe our people reparations. <laughs> and you're supposed to show the love of Christ if you're a so-called Christian. But if you constantly have the guilt of reparations and the blood money, how can you ever go to the ghettos and witness to blacks when word has gotten out that you use Christianity to lead our people into captivity? <laughs> it makes it difficult to witness to our people. And this is why the church remains segregated to this day. 
because they don't want to deal with that elephant in the room. Okay, a real high value man of God is supposed to break down how race is a stumbling block in the church and segregates it when you don't do what Christ commanded us to do.